The Alliance for Community Media, or ACM, held its annual national conference in Brooklyn, New York, from June 27th to the 29th, and three members of the GNAT team attended it, along with more than 500 other people involved in community access media stations from across the country. The conference was held at the studios of BRIC, short for Brooklyn Information and Culture, the borough's community access media headquarters. Founded in 1976, the Alliance represents over 3,000 public, educational, and governmental, or PEG, access organizations and community media centers throughout the country. The ACM works to protect the interests of these access centers and those who use PEG facilities and equipment to advance their causes through cable television and the internet. The conference offered speaker events, panel discussions, and breakout sessions to give participants a chance to hear not only about national issues affecting all media centers, but also about particular issues impacting stations regionally. With an ongoing evolution of community media underway, where many viewers no longer access their local community media through cable television, as cord cutting continues, there was much discussion around how that will play out looking ahead. Finding other revenue streams, artificial intelligence, and new technology were also highlighted during the conference's several panel discussions. We had a chance to speak with Mike Wassenaar, the president of ACM, during a break in the action. So I, I, think, I think the main challenge for organizations is having the resources to be able to do the work to reach people. Uh, in a lot of communities, there isn't local production of news happening. Uh, you're seeing news deserts uh, evolve in a lot of communities. That part is because of the economics, right, for, for these commercial operations. For the non-commercial operations, they're mission-driven. They care very, very deeply about the, the information well-being of people locally. But having the local resources to be able to do that work and to distribute it is, is, is a challenge. And the other challenge is that not everybody is using the same kind of device to be able to get their information. Um, the, the ways that we get useful information are, I think, more highly varied than at any point in time in recent history. Whether it be radio or you know, uh, flyering that people do or, or television channels, you know, um, broadcast television in and of itself isn't a dominant media anymore, and neither is cable television. So finding, finding audiences that will find meaning in the work people are doing is a huge challenge. And I think it's the number one, two, and three challenge for most of the operations. Um, it's just very, very different, because historically, they were often speaker platforms rather than engagement platforms. And if you're just there to get up on a soapbox to speak, it's one thing. But to make a meaningful connection with other people, it takes time and effort and resources. And uh, I think that those are the kind of the challenges that people face. But it wasn't all about technology. One panel discussion, for example, looked at gun violence and what could be done and what role the media could play. So the thing to know about gun violence and violence in general is that 85% of the people who are perpetrators of gun violence were actually victims of some form of violence before they became perpetrators. So you can see there's like this cycle that can kind of happen in that way. The other part to violence and gun violence in particular is that we see it through a dual lens. Yes, there are homicides, but there are also suicides. So of the people who are impacted by gun violence as suicide, over 80% of them are successful, meaning suicide by gun is the highest rate of self-inflicted injury. What does that mean exactly? That means we have a gun challenge in this country, recognizing that America is built and has this desire to have access to guns, and rightfully so in some cases where you need to protect yourselves or let's say you find hunting to be a sport, Kylie doesn't take a position on access to guns. But we do take a position on gun safety, advocating for guns to be safely stored, for them to be kept away from children, for them to be kept away from people who would harm others. And then there were the networking opportunities. Like every similar conference, Often the best value comes out of the one-on-one -on -one hallway conversations, where people who work at different stations have a chance to exchange ideas and information. 
Brooklyn, New York is a long way from southwestern Vermont, both in terms of miles and culture. GNAT's executive director, Tammy Riley, talked about the conference and her takeaways. So what really struck me after the week was the deep discussions that were had around community storytelling and how community media can be a space for community conversation and social journalism and storytelling for healing. I found that really interesting and the staff and I are going to chew on that idea for a little bit over the next uh, few months and see how we can deliver some new programming to our community that rev revolves around uh, community conversations. So I'm really excited about that piece of it. Um, and I think the AI conversations were really interesting for us as well because it's so new and people are a little afraid of it. And it, uh, the conversations around the AI and how it's being used for art uh, and media were also really interesting. So we're going to take a look at that and see how we can um, bring those conversations to, to internally for the staff to use as well as to the community. So there were there was a lot of um, really great conversations and topics this year, which I'm really excited about and was a pleasure to be a part of. The Alliance for Community Media is a national membership organization that advocates, promotes, and preserves the right to media training production, distribution, civic engagement, and education in support of diverse community voices through public education and government access channels and other forms of media. Its goals include promoting free speech and civic engagement through local media. The Northeast Regional Conference of the ACM will be held this year in Burlington this November and will be another chance to learn from colleagues doing the same important work as we do here at GINA TV. And for the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.